with the Hamilton County Board of Elections from downtown to Mount Airy remains up in the area right now. On a 2-2 two -two tie along party lines, the board voted not to move. Republicans saying yes, Democrats no. Local 12 News reporter Jeff Hurst tells us what was behind the vote and what happens next. More than two dozen people spoke, the majority favoring keeping the board, or at least the board's early voting component downtown, where it's much easier to get to than the Mount Airy location. In November 2012, approximately 24,000 people voted at the Board of Elections downtown. We believe it makes no sense to require these voters to go to a less accessible location. The Mount Airy site is in play because the old Mercy Hospital has been offered to Hamilton County for free as a much needed new home for the coroner's crime lab. But without another agency like the Board of Elections moving in and taking some of the space, taking over the hospital may not be cost effective. The Board of Elections vote was along party lines. Republicans saying the Mount Airy site is better concern for all because Hamilton County actually has the lowest percentage of early voting in person in the state. This current location, downtown location, isn't working. Our proposal is to put this into a more central location, the accessibility of free parking, so we think it has the opposite effect of what the allegations have been. But the two Democrats said moving the board out of downtown would move it away from predominantly African-American, predominantly Democratic voters. When you start to move early voting, you really have to look at whether or not you are disenfranchising those voters who come to the board by mass transit. And for that matter, the convenience of the 50 plus thousand people who either live or work in downtown Cincinnati and can walk to the board and do today. Nobody is going to walk to that Mount Airy site. These are the new voting booths here at the Board of Elections downtown, but it's unclear where these are going to be in the future. Based on the 2-2 tie, it now goes up to Secretary of State John Husted to break the tie. He's a Republican. You'd expect him to break the tie in favor of the Republicans and move the facility to Mount Airy. However, it is unclear legally if Husted actually has the authority to do that, so this remains in limbo. Jeff Hirsch, Local 12 News. Last week, city council members voted unanimously against that proposed move to the Mercy Mount Airy site. Council member P.G. Sittenfeld spoke before this morning's Board of Election vote. This basically boils down to the fact that in our democratic system, in our democratic process, there are two kinds of actions when it comes to the ballot box. People can take actions that increase accessibility to voting, or people can take actions that create obstacles when it comes to voting. The proposal to move early voting to Mount Airy falls into the latter category. This would create obstacles for thousands and thousands of people. Meanwhile, Hamilton County Commissioners have a closed door meeting scheduled right now. It's expected they will discuss whether to accept the Mount Airy facility. But another thing, which is vague, it's unclear if the commissioners can force the Board of Elections to move if the board doesn't want to.